Good morning. It's day 18. Now we're going to dive into some helmets. You should always wear a helmet when you're riding a bike. And Bill from the Trek Store and Mitch is on the ones and twos is going to help me to understand the do's and the don'ts of wearing a helmet. What helmet? What type? Yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, sharing's caring, more people share, more people see it, more people donate, it's all for the ride to conquer cancer, it's day 18, we're going to 55 days in a row. Okay, hey, so I'm uh, at the Trek bike store and I don't know anything about helmets, but uh, this guy does. Okay, so... Got a big range of helmets now. Helmets will start about uh, $50 and go up from there. Uh, big thing that they're working on now is concussion prevention. So uh, a lot of the helmets are coming now with an internal roll cage system. So what happens is the roll cage system moves independently of the helmet and reduces concussion by about 20%. Uh, they've even expanded on that and they're doing new systems that are like a crush system. And so these guys are even more, uh, even a bigger reduction in, con in concussion. So about 40% less chance of getting a concussion from a regular helmet. Um, the more you spend, the lighter the helmet, the better the ventilation, the better the fit, okay? okay? So the less expensive helmets will have two sizes or even one universal fit. As you go up, you'll get into three sizes, small, medium, large, and even more in some of the better ones. Okay, so how do you find a helmet that fits you? First of all, you try it on. Small? Probably too small for you. Yeah, I got a big head. Okay. Let's try this one here. So the helmets will also come with a fit dial on the back. So this is so you can really tweak the fit in. Okay? Okay. So slip that one on. Good. Okay, so how you want a helmet to fit is you want it to hit, sit flat on your head. So you see this helmet is actually sitting a little bit too high. We want the helmet to sit down a bit further, okay? So we would maybe go to a bigger size so that the helmet would sit down onto your head better. So when you have the helmet sitting flat, it's gonna be protecting the front of your head better, okay? And then just make sure the dial tweaks in there, okay? So now the straps, make sure they're straight. A lot of the straps are coming actually preset and so the straps will sit just right below your earlobe. So then what you want is you want the strap to sit comfortably under your chin without pinching your neck. And you should be able to get one to two fingers in underneath the straps when you put your head down and it isn't choking you. So this helmet's a reasonable fit for Jesse, sitting a little bit tall. So we'd maybe want to go with something that will fit a bit deeper onto his head or try a bigger size in this helmet. Of course, the biggest thing is how it looks. This one? Of course. Meh. Meh. <laughs> so, okay. okay, so here's Jesse with his Giro Syntax helmet. Okay. You can see we've got the straps meeting nicely underneath his earlobes. Chin strap is snug. Okay. Helmet is sitting level. Fit system is tight. You can also see to document his every move, he's got a GoPro camera mount on the top there. Okay, so this is an example of a helmet that's uh, fitting a bit too loose on Jesse. So you can see, as the helmet moves, there's no movement of his scalp. So a good fitting helmet will actually move your scalp when the helmet moves. So in an impact, what can happen is the helmet can slide back and expose the front of your head. So we want it to fit nice and snug. So this one's too big. So let's try one that's gonna fit him a bit better. Okay, so next we have Jesse in a mountain bike helmet. So the difference between a mountain bike helmet and a road helmet is ventilation. So a mountain bike helmet has larger vents that will scoop air at slower speeds, whereas a road bike helmet will have longer, narrower vents that will scoop air at higher speed. The other thing you can see is it comes down a little bit further in the back, which is gonna make the helmet a bit safer, but also it's gonna make it hotter. Visor on it, which is going to deflect branches, keep the rain out of your out of your eyes. In a road situation, when you wear a visor, what can happen is it can cause you to strain your neck and look try and look up too far beyond the visor. But it looks uh, cool. Not in a road sense. Oh, man. 
you got a lot to learn. I know. It'll also catch wind in a road situation and actually try and pull the helmet off your head. You see also, GoPro mount comes stock fitting into the helmet. So when you're shredding the gnar, you can pick it up live. Beautiful, Bill. Beautiful. Right.